Hello church and happy Saturday. Hope you're having a great weekend. In our house this weekend, we are celebrating my son's birthday. I was thinking about when we put toys together. And lots of times when, when I've gotten a toy for him and I put it together, I usually just jump in and I start putting it together. Or maybe it's for you, maybe it's a piece of furniture or a Lego set or one of those things. And so many times I see, I can look at the box of what it's supposed to look like and I look at the pile of pieces and I think, I think I can do this, but I'm also looking at pieces saying, why on earth are these pieces here? What, what is the purpose of this small little piece? Why does this matter? And you start putting it together. Maybe you get to the end of it and you look over and there's a pile of pieces. They're like, I didn't even use all of these pieces and this doesn't even look how it's supposed to look. It, it kind of works, but it's not really what it's fully meant, fully intended to do. And it just turns out to be a mess. But thankfully, when we get a toy or a, or a piece of furniture, there's an instruction manual that they give us. And if you're like me, even still, you jump halfway into that instruction manual seat and you say, oh, I think I can start from this point. I think I have a good grasp of what it looks like from this point on. But those instruction manuals, they give us step by step from the very beginning with the smallest of pieces. And sometimes those small little pieces are the foundation to, to everything else needs to work off of that one little piece. The same is true with our walk with God. I think many times we look at the big picture. We look at what we feel like God's called us to do. And we think, all right, I'm going to get to that picture. But so often God doesn't just give us the big picture. He doesn't just give us the promise and then say, all right, figure it out on our own. But he gives us a step-by-step -step play. He gives us every single instruction that we're supposed to do. I'm reminded of the story in Genesis chapter 12 with Abram. It says this in verse 1. The Lord had said to Abram, leave your country, your people, and your father's household and go into the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. So we know that Abram, he, he knows that, okay, God wants to bless me. He's going to make me into a great nation. He's going to give me children. He's been wanting children for so long. And he sees this. And the first step is leave your family and leave, leave your country. And I think that's a point where you'd be saying, why, why does that matter? Right? And as you see, he, he doesn't fully obey all the instructions God gives him. He takes a lot with him because he, he doesn't have a son and he's worried that him and his wife are never going to get to the point where they have a son. So he tries to do something on his own. He tries to figure it out on his own. And we know if you continue reading that, that just leads to more issues down the road. Church, let me encourage you this weekend. God's called you to something. God has a promise for you. And there's a big picture. And sometimes that big picture, it seems like it's so far away. And it seems like, you know what? There's some things I can do on my own to get there. But know and trust that every step along the way, that God's calling us and he's giving us instructions. And every single instruction matters. The good ones matter. The bad ones matter. The, the, things, the good things that come, the bad things that come. God's got a plan for each and everything. He's going to use each and everything in your life to get you to that point where he's calling you to be. Be blessed this weekend and know that God's calling you every step of the way.